look, I'm just gonna say it. I like the new Doctor, and I like the new companion, Ruby Sunday. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? I mentioned it in earlier videos, and I got skewered about it, but I'm also not gonna lie. However, this is an unpopular opinion, I will admit, and it turns out Chudi Gatwa, who plays the 15th Doctor, and Millie Gibson, who plays the new companion, aren't even wanting to stick around that long. I'm Troy from Arcs on TV, and today we're talking about the looming quick departure for the new Doctor Companion combo on Doctor Who. Now, on with the story. The links to the articles I'm covering can be found in the video description. The Doctor Who Christmas special, The Church on Ruby Road, was the first full episode debut for Chudi Gatwa's 15th Doctor, and was the first appearance of Millie Gibson's new companion to the Doctor, Ruby Sunday. I enjoyed it, but the ratings were not great. It pulled in just 1.79 million viewers on the BBC, Damn! and 4.73 million viewers on streams, supposedly. I don't believe you. This underperformed the first 60th anniversary special, which pulled in 7.61 million viewers in the UK alone. Each special after that declined in ratings until the horrible numbers for the Christmas special. Even though I'm having fun with it all, I can't totally blame the audiences. Fellow YouTuber, with many multiples of subscribers, Nerd Roddick, said that Doctor Who was, quote, sacrificed on the altar of agenda, and, quote, the now third reboot of Doctor Who was murdered in its crib, and, quote, oh, he needs oh. some milk! Hard to argue. However, they're going to keep limping this thing along and not change a damn thing, as Disney and the BBC tend to do. This is all a bad setup already, as the new Doctor and Companion don't even look to be sticking around. What? What the fuck? Let's look at this article from Sky News 68. Chudi Gatwa and Millie Gibson's Doctor Who future after 2025 looks doubtful. Just a couple of weeks after Chudi Gatwa and Millie Gibson hit the screens with their debut episode of Doctor Who, a cloud of uncertainty is already looming over their future with the show. While both actors are still filming their second series to air in 2025, interviews on their futures have cast doubt on whether they'll be back for a third. Firstly, Millie Gibson's recent interview with Fabric Magazine What the hell is even that? furthered the speculation. Discussing her plans for 2024, Gibson said, quote, I think now that the strike's over, I'll probably be auditioning again for parts and seeing what's out there, end quote. She added, quote, every year has been such a change for me, it's hard to think what might come next. I'd like to play a villain. If not that, I think I'm really intrigued by biopic roles that you really need to research. I think that would be a great challenge. I don't know, I'm just excited to see what's to come, end quote. Her comments about seeking new challenges and roles suggest a possible departure. Later, sluts! Look, I'm not saying that you have to be tied to the role forever, and I realize she's very, very young. So sure, explore your options. But this is a very famous, long-running, beloved series. You landed a big role in it. Sure, the ratings are in the tank and it's holding on by a thread, but that's a separate issue. Either way, you're basically coming out and saying, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Now, suppose I leave you here, hmm? <laughs> And you're admitting that this is your springboard into other things just to get recognized well enough to get bigger and better roles. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Sure, Matt Smith virtually used Doctor Who as a launching pad for the same thing. You could also argue Karen Gillan and Jenna Coleman did that as well. However, Matt Smith was a genuine fan for Doctor Who, respecting the part, and he didn't come right out and give the world an end date for when he felt that he had enough contractually obligated screen time in before going off to do other roles. Speaking of the Doctor, Sky News 68 says, turning to Chudi Gatwa, his previous comments in a Rolling Stone UK interview earlier in 2023, pointing to a post-Doctor Who plan, raised eyebrows about his long-term commitment. Gatwa expressed a desire to return to theater, saying, quote, Theater kept me warm, and it held me all night, even if I was broke. But I'm planning on getting back to it in 2024, after I finish season two of Doctor Who, end quote. Yeah, okay, see, <laughs> bye. Further adding to the uncertainty, Gadwa's conversation with the Radio Times in December did little to clarify his intentions. When asked about his future after the second series, Gatwa admitted, quote, no idea, no plan. I just know that I'm loving it, and my love for it is growing, end quote. 
While this shows positivity about his current experience, it doesn't provide a clear indication of his long-term plans. Getwa could also film other things and do theater between seasons, I suppose, but the article goes on to say that showrunner Russell T. Davies has promised annual Doctor Who seasons and no more gap years. This may make things a tad difficult for Chudi to do anything else outside of Doctor Who. Then again, they're filming the first two seasons back to back, it seems, so maybe there will be little gaps in the shooting schedule? Who the hell knows? I did want to focus on a few things from an article by That Park Place that's talking about the downward trajectory of Doctor Who, focusing mostly on RTD himself. Showrunner Russell T. Davies announced that upcoming episodes of the show will annoy people. Ah, oh, s***. Here we go again. He told Radio Times, quote, The show is taking a sly step towards fantasy, which will annoy people to whom it's a hard science fiction show, end quote. Davies added, quote, Episode 2 next year is wildly fantasy, completely making up scenarios on screen that we've never been able to show before, but the following episode is proper hard science fiction, end quote. Not only did Davies explain that the show's direction will annoy people, but he also informed Doctor Who magazine, as reported by SFF Gazette, that he's creating a whole new Doctor Who mythology. Davies explained, quote, There will be controversial events in The Giggle. If you listen and watch the commentary on the iPlayer, I unroll a whole new Doctor Who mythology for you based around the events taking place. And I'm explaining this to David Tennant, and his mind is exploding. That commentary will have absolutely exclusive information that will rock the world. I hope you'll all find it fascinating, Davies continued, quote, It's a whole new way of looking at the history of Doctor Who, and I can't wait to see the reaction, end quote. I have several questions. Well, I watched the giggle, but I haven't heard his exclusive commentary about whatever it is he's going on about. I know that the Toymaker said at one point that he made the Doctor's history into a jigsaw puzzle, so maybe that's what he's talking about? Also, he's since come out and said that with the bi-generation of the 14th and 15th Doctor, now every single Doctor in history bi-generated across all timelines. So we've got double the Doctors, double the fun? Is that what he's talking about? But you, sir, are a nitwit. Who freaking knows? It just seems like Russell T. Davies is using Doctor Who for a vehicle for his own desires and agendas at this point. Also, I don't have a ton of confidence that we'll be seeing much of Chudi Gatwa and Millie Gibson down the road. I like the actors, and I like the combo, but the ratings for the show aren't exactly improving with their debut and the return of Davies. Maybe people like Nerd Roddick and Geeks and Gamers and The Critical Drinker are right, and unfortunately, my beloved Doctor Who is dead, never to regenerate again. I'm dead. Comment down below with your thoughts on the situation. Are you surprised that Chudi Gatwa and Millie Gibson are already talking about jumping ship from Doctor Who? Do you like them at all, or do you not care? Do you think Doctor Who is salvageable, or is it completely dead? What can improve the ratings for the once-beloved sci-fi staple? And do you like that Doctor Who is going more fantastical rather than hard science fiction? Let me know down in the comments section. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy from Arcs on TV, and we'll see you next time.